Good morning. It's Monday and uh, jumping right in with another vlog. Got back last night from Ole Miss. I unpacked everything and now we're off to pick up the boys from the kennel. PetSmart we tried this time. So let's see how they have fared. Let's hit it. We've collected the dogs. Wrigley's back there somewhere. Rowdy's in his cage. So they did well. But Rowdy apparently is wants to be an escape artist. He kept flipping over his water bowl, which we know he likes to do at home anyway. He likes to wash his feet in the bowl. He, um, they have these little elevated cots to sleep on. He removed all the legs. He didn't chew them. He just kept taking all the legs off the cots. And then there's a drain in each uh, run, for obvious reasons, and he managed to remove the drain cover several times. <laughs> so, which they said has never happened in the history of um, that facility. So, Rowdy's rowdy but um anyway but they had great reports and he looks very happy and actually just wanted to love on the people as we were leaving so that's a good sign that he didn't want to go home he didn't feel sad and Wrigley was just he's just happy all the time so now back to our normal routine which includes hitting the grocery store on a Monday I think this week I have planned uh baked salmon which I'm just buying like ready to go um, from the grocery store for tonight. Um, I'm gonna do street tacos one night, turkey tenderloins one night, and I think we're gonna do a chef salad one night. And then Friday, I'll think about what I'm gonna do Friday. I haven't decided yet. So that's the meal plan for the week. Good morning. We are at what might be Shane's last visit to his pediatric gastroenterologist because come June, he can go to the big boy grown-up gastroenterologist, which would be great because it's just down the street from our house. This one is downtown. We love our doctor, but um, I mean, he's amazing, but he's like, you know, in rush hour, sometimes over an hour away. So it would be really nice to have someone who's across the street from the high school for Shane. Um, so yeah, there he is. I think he's outgrown the pediatric table. What do you guys think? <laughs> Back at my happy place. I'm in the Nordstrom dressing room and by the time this goes up, I've already been to the conference and on my way home, but this big blogger conference will be my fifth year in a row, and this always happens. I get totally stressed, and I overthink things, and then I think, okay, Marnie, you know what? Just buy clothes you're going to be comfortable in and wear again. So the pants, you will probably have already seen. I got it. She goes, and they're, like, very patterned, so I need something a little chill, and I know the weather's going to be a little on the chilly side, and I just want to be comfortable because I'm wearing this, I think, the second day of the conference, and by then you're like, I'm over it. So I'll show you what it looks like. So obviously I'm not wearing it with leggings because this is practically, I feel like I should be standing here like this, but it's a kind of an asymmetrical peplum and it's almost like very thin sweatshirt material. And it's so lightweight though, you can wear it in the summer and it's really cute and it, it works. I could probably put a fun necklace here, but let me show you what I'm gonna put over it so I don't freeze my tush off. Okay, actually I'm not gonna show you what I was gonna wear over this because I tried it on, it looked horrible. It was an olive green, jacket um and I, it did nothing for me it had no shape and the sales assistant was like no so i have my old navy one i'm just gonna throw over it just an olive khaki over so yay i just need to order one pair of shoes because i don't have them on here in store so i'll order them online and i think i'm set lunch time at mashed which is apparently known for its uh moonshine i just got an avocado salad but michael got Bulgogi tacos. I don't even. Second time I've had it. I had it with Willie. Did you? It's so yeah. awesome. Doesn't that look really delicious? I'm jumping in. It's salad time. I'm sitting outside the dentist's office because I'm early and my phone is at 20%, so I'm going to take advantage of this time to charge. But in the meantime, I went from Nordstrom to Walmart and I picked up this beauty. This is the Milani Bold Obsessions, and she's very pretty. I barely touched that. Look how soft that is. Oh my gosh. They are very similar in quality and texture to the Flower Beauty palettes that I'm obsessed with. Let's do a matte. Oh, equally soft. I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna go get my teeth cleaned. I'm gonna figure out what to do with all this eyeshadow all over me. Quick dinner tonight, something easy to whip up. Street tacos with cilantro lime rice and a little salad that came from a bag. Michael wants the credit. You will get the credit. I opened a plastic bag and made that. I steamed a bag of rice and then chopped up some cilantro and squeezed some lime. So that's me. I chopped all those things up. <laughs> but Michael did the big stuff. He did the heavy lifting. He grilled the uh, meat and he 
grilled the tortillas. So now we just need some drinks and a kid. Where's the kid? Shane! Okay, different sunglasses because I was leaving the house and I realized I left my new ones in the bathroom and I was lazy. Quick, quick Walmart haul. Flower Beauty Sponge. I've heard really good things. I went back and got the other Milani palette, the all matte one. Because, why not? This is what I'm really excited about. This is a, a Flower Beauty palette highlighter, blush, and sorry, the wrong finger, and bronzer. And... This is the mascara I should have bought and didn't when I did my Flower Beauty haul. The Lash Lash Warrior? Yes, I wanted to call it Lash Warrior Princess, just Lash Warrior. In fierce black. I wanted to try their um, press powder. It's like a luminizing press powder, but they only had the matte. And I did not buy the finishing spray because I got sent one from CoverGirl that I'm really enjoying. So that is that. One Milani, many flowers. And um, now I'm gonna go home and watch Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because it's Tuesday. <laughs> so, oops, it's hard to see. I can't really see. Well, that and the lights, lights bad. Down. We'll go this way. There you go. Hey guys, I'm having lunch with my dear old, not old, is it old, but old is in long time friend Cheryl. And we used to be the library chairs when our kids were in elementary school. Do you remember our book fair day? So we're just catching up at Neaters. How many of you have been to Neaters? It's good. That turkey sandwich is very good. I devoured it. And we're just catching up. very quickly. I didn't have breakfast. I'm hungry. So anyway, we're just catching up and then I'm gonna get home and get some video filming done. So I just wanted to say hi. I'm trying to show Cheryl like what this is all about. Cause she's like, what do you do? Cause I know nothing. <laughs> See you guys later. Dinner is made. I'm just waiting for Michael to get home. Shane just got home. I love that it's still light out. It's almost seven. I just made a, I guess it's a chef salad, kinda. I'm hiding it in here cause we have him. Mr. Nose. So we hide our food in here. But salami, cucumbers, tomatoes, hard boiled eggs, romaine, and turkey. I think it looks very pretty. I also noticed that it's time to clean the oven. Anyway, that's what's for dinner tonight. You're like a shark, circling and sniffing. Stop. Mimi had her final bandage change and we're lavender for the last run and she's not happy. She's always not happy the day she gets her bandage changed. She's a little sore, rowdy, gentle. Yes, but she is doing really well so far. So hopefully the bandage and splint comes off next Wednesday. Rowdy, that nose. Just finished up another day of shooting. So I don't know if this will go up before or after the vlog, but if you haven't yet seen me awkwardly posing in my Chico's haul, <laughs> I will link it here if it's up. If not, stay tuned. It's coming. Um, tried a different background this time, and the weather keeps changing, so this is it's nice today, and I have three little sunbathing beauties. Poor Rowdy. He just wants to be with the Westies. He thinks he's a small dog. They, they, they just, Rowdy, give it up. You're a big boy. It's okay. Embrace, em embrace it. But that's Wrigley there. Obviously that's Rowdy. And then Miss Mimi cooking in the hot sand like a lunatic. Who lays in hot? I mean, that sand has got to be really hot. And she loves every minute of it. <laughs> By the way, it'll be in the video if it hasn't gone up, but a lot of you asked about this shirt and it is now available online, obviously in whatever age you are. That's not true. I think it starts at age 40. Like it's not, if you're 22, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait a few years, but for sure 40 and up, they have it. And I don't know how high it goes, but I think it goes pretty high. So go over to Chico's online. Or if you just wanna pretend like you have one, they have a like selfie uploader thing where you can superimpose your age on your shirt. You upload a picture, I don't know, whatever, it's fun. If you just like playing with stuff like that, I do. I'm gonna go make some lunch. But I gotta keep an eye on Mimi, because I don't want her traveling to the water. She's still cast it up. Okay, it is Friday the 13th, but it is our lucky day, because we are heading to the Sephora VIB sale. I should probably confirm I have my little card for us to get in. Oh, I do, okay. 
we are off to hit the sale. Although, to be fair, I ordered already online like five things. So, all right, let's I have it. So, let's go. Look who I ran into. Hi, guys. Okay, how are you? Coincidence. We coordinated. We this. totally coordinated. She is a horrible person to shop with. She will tell you to buy everything. That is so wrong. I'm like trying so Forget hard this. not to. I mean, you guys heard my video. Well, those of you that know me this heard my video. I'm not going crazy this time. Uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> I have one thing, which I think I'm not even buying. She's so controlled, you guys. I I bought a lot of stuff this month, so and I have more to buy. Like that's not makeup. You movie. know what? She's in, she's inspiring me to take some of the stuff out of my bag, so I'm probably no, no, going to. No, no, buy it all. I want to hear all. No, we're we're gonna we're gonna have a talk. We're gonna have a talk. Did you take one for the team? We're gonna pare it down. Buy it, and then if I like it, I'll get it. I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> I was leaving Sephora, and I thought we're just going to the car, <laughs> and then I saw this kiosk. It's scooped cookie dough. And it's, what does it tell us? Scoop cookie dough bar, and I'm Brienne. What do you want to know? It's edible, like it's edible, raw cookie safe dough. safe to eat cookie dough with pasteurized eggs, heat treat flour, otherwise there's no preservatives. It's just like what you make at home. And it is really, it's, so if good. I had one last meal to eat, the dessert would be raw cookie dough, and this is better than <laughs> that, because you won't die eating it. I guess it wouldn't matter at my last meal if I got salmonella. But generally, and I have a gluten-free, dairy-free option, a vegan for Shane, and I just tried the chocolate chip cookie dough, which is very good. She made me try the lemon blueberry, which I was like, I don't know. So good, you know what it tastes like? Spring in your mouth. It is so good, light and fresh and amazing. You can bake it, but you, why, why would you? Anyway, they have this little kiosk, this is for my San Antonio friends. They have the kiosk here at La Cantera, but the store itself is at North Star Mall. And they're, but they're hoping to come up here this summer. Hopefully. Hopefully. So I'll put the info in the description box. They're not paying me. I just ate like a ton of samples. And I just thought y'all should know about it. So <laughs> yay, just what I need. Rock cookie dough. That's great. <laughs> Thanks so much. I had the best afternoon. I did my, I wouldn't say first, but the first, the second YouTube live I've ever done. And, but it was like, I kind of knew what I was doing this time. And I had so much fun. And I had a little more people there than I usually do for like an Instagram Live. But other than that, it went very much like an Instagram Live. And I'm really glad that those of you who watched or who are coming back to watch the replay enjoyed it because now you see what Instagram Lives are like. And I think, dare I say, I'd like to do a YouTube Live every month. And I will move them around so it's not on the same day and not at the same time. So those of you that want to come by, hopefully you can catch one. But I'll always keep them up on my channel. Um, but I want to hop on because I rarely get this excited about a purchase. I got this purse. You've seen this a million times. Uh, I guess about a year ago. And I love it. Um, but the strap that came with it that I already took off and I guess I put away because I don't see it in... I don't know what I do with it. Okay, well, apparently I put it away. It's very narrow. It comes with a crossbody strap. And I like to load my purses down and it hurts. It's too thin. So I found, I, I wanted this guitar strap. Check it out. I've been wanting this one. Rebecca Minkoff also makes the guitar strap, but I think it's like last year or last season or whatever, and I couldn't find it anywhere. I found it on Amazon. I got it two days after I ordered it. It came all packaged, ready to go. Tag still on it, same price and everything. I guess I could technically bring it back to Rebecca Minkoff. I don't know. Um, and I'm so happy. Look how big and wide it is. So the weight's more evenly distributed across my shoulders. I could technically snap it onto anything. It just has these little, you know, things. So anyway, Amazon of the rescue. Yay. You can find anything on Amazon. But I'll be taking this one with me to the conference. Um, I'm going to have a smaller little bag. And then I'll probably bring at least two clutches. Because you need a purse for every outfit. That's the rule. Anyway. I also wanted to say that I've been talking at you for two and a half minutes, but this is one of my favorite shirts that I bought last spring, and they are back, not this exact style, but they have one in pink that I really want. I don't know why I'm sharing this with you, but I spent the rest of my afternoon playing on the internet looking at what's new at Nordstrom, so that's what's on my mind. Anyway, that's it for now. I just wanted to share, and uh, I'm just kind of riding on this high of YouTube Live. It was just a lot of fun. I'm going to shut it now, because I'm just... See this. There's a deer. There's a deer in the forest. See it? And Mimi found her. Let's go, Mimi. You can see the deer is not bothered in the slightest. I'm afraid if I move closer, though, that may spook her. 
She can't be by herself. They travel in packs. There she goes. Goodbye, dear. My little warrior princess. Did you find a deer? You did, girl. What are you gonna do? She is one tough cookie. Hopping along. Back at Nordstrom, doing some shoe shopping. Not been successful. I think anything I purchase at this point is going to be online from Nordstrom. They just don't have exactly what I'm looking for in store, but this is cracking me up. Fiesta's coming to San Antonio soon, and maybe by the time this goes up, it will already be here. But we have a pop-up store going on over the there with um i think the brand's called mexico lindo and then um they have beautiful stuff and then this wall cracks me up it's a fiesta flower wall gotta get my wreath out all right here comes the next round of shoes back from my shopping adventure i got no shoes i'm gonna order i think at least one pair online i found the cutest sneaker wedge shoe things and the six and a half was a little too tight and the seven was too loose and now I'm thinking maybe I should have just had them stretch the six and a half so they would have been, oh well. Anyway, we are trying as a light lunch snack the Skinny Taste Avocado Fries. Here they are in their raw state. They're basically just dipped in egg and then gluten-free panko crumbs. And then we're frying them up in this thing and I, you flip them over halfway through and you ignore Rowdy who's being a butt. And they're really crispy. Anyway, I will show you what they look like when they're done. And I've already made the little dipping sauce, the lime dipping sauce. So let's see if they're tasty. Alrighty. So they're nice and crunchy. I'm just going to dip it in my lime sauce. I don't have all the spices that I called for, but I have lime and salt and mayo and Greek yogurt. So... Mmm. That is very yummy. You know, this would be really good on top of some sunny side of eggs uh, and toast. It would be a great kind of, or without the toast because it's got the pinko crumbs. I like it. Mm. Rowdy, do you love washing your hands? Hang on. Okay. Yep, here he goes. Ugh, every time at the dog park, we gotta wash our hands. Let's go back with our friends. Let's go back. Oops, go. go on. Make room. Just make a hole. There you go. Nope. You stay. All right. Bye, Rowdy. Have a nice day. I'm here. I'm here. No, come on. Had a new baby, like so we came to play with the baby, and her name is Millie, and look how cute she is. Hi, yo, baby. Are you gonna turn around? She's very uh, busy chewing. Millie. Yep, she's not interested. And what's really funny is all of Shane's friends are here. But there's no Shane. He's at Brooke's house. <laughs> Millie! That's you! He's like, whoa! Whoa! Extreme doggy close up! Hello! Hello! No, I, I'm sure your mother does not want me to encourage this, but it's so. Ooh, you know what? Those are some sharp teeth! Whoa! Where did those come from? You should not be. No, here, wait. Here, chew on this. You really shouldn't be eating raw hide either, young lady. It's not good for you. Oh, is it? It's not good for them. Oh, really? Yeah, it gets stuck in there. Knuckle bones. Okay. Antlers. Yeah, we had. It's always had me. Uh, the breeder gave us food. Yes. Everything is crazy. Ew, she was ew. He gave her a uh, Purina one. We are on date night, and we are going old school. We are at California Pizza Kitchen. We used to come here all the time when we were newly married, and we always got the spinach artichoke dip. 
So that's what we've decided to do. And we've even decided to order what, well, no, Michael went off the menu and ordered something new, but I ordered my usual, which is they have barbecue chopped chicken salad, which is on its way. So, old school. Good morning, it is Sunday. I am, I already filmed a video, done my hair, not in that order. And uh, now I am off to get a pedicure because I'm leaving Thursday for my big blogger conference and I cannot have icky feet. But I realized I didn't have breakfast and so what I like to do instead of skipping breakfast is just get one of these like slim fast shakes. At least it's something. Fills me up. Um, I had a late night. Michael and I went out to the movies and came home to, well, we didn't even get it. There was a line of cars just to get into our neighborhood through the main gate. And that's not normal at like 10.30 at night. Like, what's going on? We pull in, and we live like three, four blocks into the neighborhood. The entire neighborhood, like starting almost at the front gate for blocks, is lined with cars. On both sides of the street, you could barely get in and then, or get down the drive, and then um, we realized it was our next door neighbor's house. The mom and dad were out of town, not the son. I was like, oh my God. So, um, before we actually could figure out what to do, one of the neighbors up the road had apparently come down and broken up the party. <laughs> and so we watched them all like flee, like rats on a sinking ship. It was, it was like out of a movie. Which was funny because we were coming from Blockers, which was basically prom night and, you know, party central. And it looked like a bigger party than anything I've seen in a movie. Like, it looked like there were probably two to three hundred kids in there. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's not my kid. Thank you. Anyway, I also texted my friend, the neighbor, and said, um, are you home? And she said, no, why? I said, mm, there's like 300 kids at your house. And she's like, oh my gosh. So... Anyway, I have been cooking all afternoon. Does any, Sundays like kind of, unless we have a specific, sorry, something planned, it's my catch up day. I get a lot of editing done in the afternoon. Usually Michael will be playing golf. Shane will either be studying or out with friends. So I can just kind of focus on other things. And I have dinner prepped and ready to go. And it is 3.30, I'm so excited. And I have lunch made for Shane for the week. Well, I have tomorrow's already. And then um, these are chicken fajitas with some rice. Rowdy, you do this every time I pick up the camera. Hey, no. And my friend here helping me. And I'm watching a little Watch What Happens Live after show with Andy. Um, catching up. Yeah, so I'm just gonna let that cool down a little bit before I pop it in the refrigerator. And we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I might freeze these two and then thaw them as the week gets going, but I feel fulfilled. Yay. All right, everybody, my cooking adventures have come to a close as well as this vlog. I'm just gonna give you a quick pan. Chicken shawarma, marinated cucumbers, a little spinach salad, a little rice, a little garlic yogurt sauce. And Michael set the table with red solo cups. Thank you, darling, for that. And uh, we are gonna call it a vlog. So thank you as always for hanging out with us. Don't forget to subscribe. And next week, I go to Dallas. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that adventure. See you then. Bye.